University of Santo Tomas Growling Tigers are in the finals of the UAP Season 82 Men's Basketball Tournament. The Tigers overcame the UP Fighting Maroons twice to beat advantage in the step ladder semis and also swept UP this season. With us today to talk about UST's big win and entry to the finals, we have Jet Manuel and Coach Topex Robinson. Uh, it's, it's astonishing to say that there's this one team that has beaten UP four straight times. Mm. Arbato, is it a case of contrapelo, coach? Uh, it could ha it could be uh, yeah that that case, but there's also the aspect of you know yung well well oiled machine yung nakalaban ng, ng UP. Eh. I mean, mm -hmm. just so happen it's it's UST, but I mean they're the UST is a team on a mission and they're just right there at that right spot at the right time. I think they just uh, I mean to add to that, I think they're just parang they're. All those games, I think they just played at a higher level than them. So, you know, the consistency that they, they were able to do that, yes, it's surprising, 4-0. and zero, But, you know, yun nga, if they're the better team among in the four games, then they're going to get the, the four wins. Uh, you feel, Jet, that uh, UST, let's say, let's focus on one aspect, execution. Mm -hmm. Was UST better in execution, you know, in, in this series yes. uh, compared to UP? Yeah, yes, hands down. Um, the way they were able to get their shots, the way they were running their offense, they were there, the way they were defending the full court press to the half court press to the zone defenses. Everything that they did was better executed compared to UP. I mean, UP, yes, they had the talent, but they couldn't get. You know, we still blinded with the system that they're running. But with USD, they're just running what they do, and then all they all they need to do now is will their shots go down, and then that's that's it for the opponent. See, pa para sa coach Topex yung. <coughs> Uh, you, uh, terms, mayhem, yeah. organized chaos, but for you it was, uh, I think, discipline aggression yeah. yung gusto mo gamitin na term. Well, uh, I say uh, discipline aggression because yung last, yung fourth quarter, which is the, the, the money, the money mm -hmm. quarter, they were in penalty. So nagkaroon sila ng buffer to really pressure itong uh, UP to get them out of their comfort zone, but they wouldn't pay the price of sending any player of UP to the free throw line. So, Maganda yung naging uh, sistema nila about that. And talking about UST, they know their destination. Clear. Eh? I mean, mm -hmm. they weren't mm -hmm. hesitating. UP had this mini run. They were just composed. And then we were talking about Subido, that shot. He, he was so clear, crystal clear that he he's going to take exactly. that shot and he's going to make that shot. So, kitang kita mo sa kanya. He's just waiting for that right time. I, I, yeah. I think when you look at Chabio and Subido and Mark mm -hmm. Nonoy, Para bang malino na malino para sa kanila what their roles are on this team. That's exactly what I was gonna say. Um, to be a well-executing team, you have to know your roles on that team. Mm -hmm. I think the great job that Coach Aya did with that team is um, everybody knew what role they were on. I mean, so we have attacking points, we have shooters, just play shooters. We have bangers and screeners, and you know that's why if they if the players accept their role, they know where their destination is. I mean, you're a coach, coach, coach Topex. It makes your job so much easier. Yeah, just to add, uh, Sir Miko. You know, uh, I don't know if you noticed transition. No, I would shoot a three. You won't see anybody from even the bench of USD reacting. So that's that's just uh, to add to Jets clarity. Alam na alam nila eh, na pag hawo ko yung bola, pwede on tumira. Again, compared to you to UP, you can see body language. You can see guys there hanging their heads or looking around who's gonna take that shot. So, yun yung sinasabi natin then, USC was really clear of, of the destination that, that they're gonna go to. Uh, Sabido took that big shot, but Chabio, Chabio has been the engine of this team, Coach Topex. I was surprised when he took that, that step back from the from top of the team. Oh, I never saw <laughs> it <laughs> from him. So, sabi ko, wow, this, this kid is really something else. Uh -huh. And he would always go for the three bound. He wouldn't mind if he gets beaten. You wouldn't see any any facial reaction or body reaction. Once he goes deep into the basket, he was expecting contact no matter what. And he doesn't complain. He doesn't well, complain. Siyang, yeah. He doesn't complain, doesn't try to draw a foul. Mm -hmm. It just happens yeah. and he just plays basketball. He was just there. You know, <laughs> he's just there grinding. Okay, so Chabio is the engine. See, si Mark Nonoy is the rocket fuel. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, in terms of yeah. your clear roles, right? Yep, yep, Mark yep. Nonoy's job is to go coast to coast. Oh. Kung kaya, Go coast to coast. Kung, kung yeah. gusto mo, pwede ka pull up three. I've never seen Coach Alden get upset. <laughs> exactly, exactly. You would really. I was, he was so composed that he already knew what what what's uh, what's their role. We were saying, uh, kanina that 
I mean, USC is one of the teams that practices. I mean, Coach Alden yeah, is known yeah, for practicing for like six or eight hours, but you know, he, they're now they're now reaping the the, the benefit of, of those times. Because nga si nasabi ni Jet, alam na alam nila eh. So may just si Coach Alden sa sa team niya, okay, yes sir. Mm-hmm. You know, alam na namin kung ano yan. So yun yung naging advantage ng USD. I mean, if if no nice rule is to go coast to coast, I think Abanos rule is clearly to go down. <laughs> so grabe talaga yung linaro nila. And just to to put light on what he, uh, Coach Tobias was saying, we thought discussed it na in that last few minutes, those that crunch time minutes na important talaga yung possession for UP. They were uh, for UST. They were down for one minute thirty, I think. I looked. I was watching live, and I looked to the side, and I could see UP was bringing down the ball, and Coach I was, I think, signaling his choke or his pound. Besides full court press. Double teaming defense, and immediately from the inside, everybody knew where to, where go. to go. They yeah. knew what lanes to cut. They, they double team Richie, ending up in a turnover, which eventually caused something. So that those that's the thing. Na five hour practices mm-hmm. you're reaping the benefits of the uh, result. I, I remember I, I covered the the first game of, of this step ladder, no? and then um, a friend of mine uh, from UP lumapit sa akin, and, and confidently he said, "I think it's I uh, know UP's due to beat USD because law of averages." <laughs> yeah. I mean, mayroon mm, naman, eh. yeah, mayroon okay. naman talunin yung isang team four times, four times no, in yeah. one season. season yeah. And nasabi ko naman, oh, may point naman siya. That's, mm. that's, oh nga, pwede, pwede. And here we are, uh, UST, <laughs> you know, really, I guess, proving their mastery mm. of, uh, of UP. I, the odds. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay. So, uh, point of honesty here. Jet, did you expect UST to be in the finals? To, you know... Here we are, the uh-huh. do or die games, they're in the finals. Did you expect this at the start of the year? Start of the year, no. No, Coach nope. Opex. Absolutely not. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> well, so just like a lot of people, yeah. gulat din kayo that we're, mm-hmm. we're entering an Ateneo UST yeah. finals. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Fair is fair. Mm-hmm. Para lang honest. And so that's, <laughs> the, kind of, uh, <laughs> that's the kind of achievement yeah. uh, UST mm-hmm. has done. Thank you very much, Jet and uh, Coach Topex, for helping us out. When we return, we'll discuss that massive upset by Letran in the NCAA Finals opener. And will the Knights be able to end the reign of the Red Lions? Uh, find out when the score returns.